Uh, hello everyone, how are we all today? Uh, today what I'm doing is I am doing an orchestration homework. Uh, this is Richard Wagner's uh, Ein Sonate für das Album von Frau. So, basically, I'm doing just two pages of it, but I want to talk to you today about how I approach orchestration as a personal preference. Now, when I'm orchestrating, I always will have a hard copy of uh, of what I'm orchestrating. So basically, I, I have the score in front of me as a piano reduction, which I've been given to do the first two pages. Now, as you notice, Richard Wagner, you know, this is quite common in romantic compositions, as you start to notice all the phrasing involved. Now, as you can see, the instruments I'm using, tubular bells, glockenspiel, I don't know when they're going to come into play, but generally, like, a lot of bass trombones as well kind of your uh, brass sort of instruments so and I'm even using the Wagner tuba as well now what I've noticed through my orchestration process with Wagner is it's very using a very Long, long phrases and melodic motifs he, he's using. So I've just started it, as you can see, and I'll give you a little listen. Let's ha let's have a listen to it. So as you notice, that's uh, Wagner, and that's how he phrases things. So orchestration is a very time-consuming um, art. It takes thinking, and it's very good for a musician to know how to orchestrate and a composer. But as I've said, when I, when I you know, as you can see here, this is what I'm orchestrating. So I, I just get a piece of paper, this is and I print it out. And I look at it and I think, oh, what instruments can I bring out? So I hope you enjoy this lesson. If you like the channel, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Uh, leave your uh, comments in the comments section. I hope you've enjoyed this mini orchestration lesson.